uh, the simulate one step method of uh, the simulator class um, has uh, uh, separate loops for each type of animal uh, to make it move uh, to uh, breed uh, if possible uh, and uh, um, to do whatever it is programmed to do um, and uh, there are um, uh, two uh, new lists uh, that um, uh, will um, um, give uh, uh, the um, uh, place to store um, the um, uh, newly created uh, um, animals uh, and they will be added that this list will then be added to the um, master lists and um, the uh, simulation can be uh, run again uh, multiple steps just by calling simulate one step uh, uh, for um, uh, multiple times and this is done with a s simple uh, loop um, so there is no uh, use of inheritance here uh, each uh, uh, type of animal has its own list and uh, it is very similar to the first version of the network project so uh, for the exercises uh, let's see uh, let's understand how um, the field simulator uh, uh, stored is uh, uh, stored is uh, animals into lists. Uh, both of them have um, a list for each type of animal, uh, and uh, there can be. Um, a risk of inconsistency um, and uh, so let's discover how uh, this inconsistency um, is um, um, not allowed by understanding the implementation of it into two different classes so basically we are to do lists um, I seem to not find any list for animals in the field class. Am I missing something? Okay. So Oh, okay, no, it's not that these two leave, okay, it's not that these two lists 
are uh, present in both simulator and field, but uh, um, the field uh, has uses the the, the animals. Uh, it's So the, the exercise just says that field uh, field I don't understand this first question uh, because first it says that the field uh, the field has a data structure that stores the animals. But I don't see any st data structure in here that stores animals. Oh, okay. The field stores animal objects. Okay. So it's here. Basically, it's here that the uh, field class has a uh, data structure field that, that stores these animals and here there are these two lists and so uh, by looking at there was another part of the question is that uh, hunting fox and running rabbits have these lists. Fox and rabbit have these Run. And here is the hunt So how are they kept consistent between these classes and the simulator class. Hmm. I don't understand the question correctly.
So basically here two priests that will store the animals in the field. And here they are created. Here, few that place is used. The place method of the field is used. So this may be an interesting point. Supplication. So it must be something with this method supplication. So the fox rabbit uh when when the fox or rabbit uh moves to a particular place in the field. The, lo the set location method is called. Um, so there must be some uh, method in hand that calls this set location. It's here. And for rabbit it's in the RAM method here, the set location, and then when the set location is called, um, the place method is called from it. So uh, the current uh, rabbit or fox is passed to it and this will be used to be placed into the um, data structure in the field but now this uh, 
animal uh, should be also put inside the um, inside the, 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 the uh, list of uh, into this into this into this list that's once that's when it is created oh okay so basically set location oh no So, set location is called uh, right from the constructor of uh, the fox or rabbit. So, this gets updated. But then, also, the list of foxes should be updated. It's in this reset. Yes, because it's indirect. Yeah, basically the constructor indirectly calls the populated method. <laughs> elements to the two lists exactly here the, the lines that update the two lists okay but then this field is clear does it do? It makes okay, so it removes method is called and it clears a cell um, So I think the answer to the first exercise is that uh, the uh, consistency is maintained because uh, each time a 
fox or a rabbit is created it gets added here to the uh, two lists in simulator and uh, with the constructor of the uh, animals there is always a set location uh, method that uh, then calls the set location so that it updates the data structure uh, in field uh, with the place method and if uh, an animal uh, should not be present anymore uh, then um, there is a clear method that will, uh, will be called to, to remove this animal from the, uh, from the data structure of the field. So now the next exercise was... Something... Uh, whether it is um, uh, good to have like oh I don't remember a separate list is it better for simulator uh, to not keep these separate lists but to generate these lists again from the contents of the field at the beginning of each step simulation simulation step. Uh, so what does it mean? To generate the list again from the field from the field, right? From the contents of the field the contents of the field at the beginning of step so the beginning of each step I think it 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 can be possible to do it Can be possible to use these um, this list yes basically uh, basically uh, this um, the simulator class uh, just has to uh, iterate through uh, every element uh, uh, that is stored in field uh, and uh, check whether if uh, the content that is stored uh, is an animal and if it is an animal then uh, if it is a fox it is uh, this, uh, this element is added uh, to uh, the uh, list of foxes and if it is uh, a rabbit uh, then it is added to the list of rabbits now uh, the test at the end of the simulation To write a test for this. Should there be any dead animals in any of those places at that stage, at the end of the simulation step? This 
Kämpfe. Ja, question that I would say that there, there should not be dead animals uh, at the end of a simulation. Actually, there should never be. Basically, if I So basically, uh, if there is already an animal in this place, it will be replaced. But it really should be replaced only if the animal that is there is not alive. So let's look at the, the at set location. So maybe you can understand what happens when uh, uh, the rabbit, when a rabbit or a fox is dead. So there is a set dead method. So basically, whenever, uh, whenever an animal is not alive anymore, it gets removed from the field. So, in the field, I think that uh, the field data structure stores something different from the um, lists of rabbits and foxes because the list of rabbits and foxes uh, keeps track also of uh, dead animals. Is that right? Or does the uh, dead animals, are the dead animals removed from the lists when they are dead? Um, they are certainly removed from the field data structure. But what about the lists in the simulator?
so there is no place here that removes something from the from the list. So uh, it seems that uh, the the lists con these lists contain also dead animals uh, while this uh, field data structure contains only uh, live animals uh, alive animals so um, so uh, the contents of the field cannot be used uh, for um, to substitute uh, the, the lists because uh, the lists should also contain dead animals and the field data structure doesn't keep track of them at least as far as I know the field doesn't uh, doesn't store uh, dead animals while the lists do so that's why uh, the contents of the field data structure cannot be uh, used to um, to create the lists. And so, also the answer to the uh, third exercise would be that. Uh, there will be no dead animals at the end of the step. They will be kept in the two lists, but they will be not anymore uh, kept in the field list because uh, the method that uh, makes the uh, animal dead um uh, makes the uh, makes it go away from the field.